My name is Kelly Von Mosch. I have two children, Ivan and Ella. Ella is four and Ivan is six. All right, guys, it's lunchtime. Ivan, can you get the peanut butter and the pears? And Ella, will you get the pudding out of the refrigerator? Ella actually had hearing for sure when she was um, born and she actually lost her hearing at, a, at about the age of six months. When Ivan was born, he had a newborn screening test and he passed. At 18 months, he was um, diagnosed with a hearing loss. My heart just sank. And the Midwest Ear Institute was the number one choice. They made us feel that everything's gonna be okay. When they first got their implants, it's him hearing sound for the first time. It's just like being born. You don't know what the sound is. You don't know where it's coming from. You can't detect it. Oh, like there's a birdie, two birds. A few months later, he started hearing the birds and understanding what those were. And we would talk about, oh, you hear the bird. Do you hear it chirp? It's way up in the sky. There's so many birds around here, you know? And then he started to figure out what those sounds were. And he could start distinguishing um, the difference between background noise and who's talking to him and so forth. Ivan, what's going on with our house? What did Daddy do? He took out the doors and the windows because he has construction going on because he wants to make this house look really nice. I hope it's he's done by summer. I hope he's done by summer too. A winter. How old is he now? I'm 37. When is his birthday? On August 22nd. The same as my girlfriend. Oh. It's, it's amazing. It's, I can't believe there's technology out there that can happen like that. He'll be the first one to tell you all about it. He'll tell him exactly how it helps me hear and I'll take his implants off. Say, here, I can't hear you. Ivan, you didn't clean up your room yesterday and you were supposed to clean up your room. <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> When's mommy's birthday? Um, July. Sure. July 20th. Fourth? Oh, you're so close. July 23rd. Ah. July 25th. Yeah. Oh, no way. You're close. July 26th? Almost there. July 27th. <laughs> there you go. He's not the kid you would think that a hearing impaired child would be. He read his first sentence when he was four years old, and he's been learning to sound everything out. I started with when I was like four, but I don't know how I started reading. But he picks it up. Like you said, he's a sponge. He absorbs everything and he doesn't forget anything. He has a fantastic memory. He was on the computer one day and he just started rambling off a bunch of presidents and- George Washington, John Adams, Thomas Jefferson, James Madison, James Monroe, John Quincy Adams, Andrew Jackson. We were, were like just completely shocked. Zachary Taylor, Miller Fillmore, Franklin Pierce, James Buchanan, Abraham Lincoln. And then he watches CNN and he just wants to keep learning more and more about governors and senators and state capitals. And he's, he hasn't stopped. Grover Cleveland, Benjamin Harrison, and then Grover Cleveland again, and William McKinley. I just read it. I read and looked on the computer. I never watched TV to learn it. And then he uh, reads so much. He reads about 10 books a day. I'm on my little fact book. 249 pages. Tell us something that we don't know. <laughs> um, a newborn panda is smaller than a mouse. Just makes me feel just incredibly proud. Yeah, I thought I'd be like as big as a rabbit. <laughs> I mean, he's just like any other normal kid. And that's exactly what we wanted. There's nothing wrong with my child. I forget that he's deaf. If he's in the bathtub, I'm constantly talking to him, but he doesn't wear him in the bathtub. So I was like, oh yeah, you can't hear me. I have the best kids in the world and I wouldn't change a thing and those cochlear implants are who they are. It's part of them, it's just like having your arms, your legs, or your nose, your mouth. They don't want to ever lose that.